So many people willing to lay down their lives for me. It should never have come to this. There's something I want to tell you, before you do what you came to do. You better have one hell of an apology lined up. You deserve more of an apology than I'm capable of giving. I reviewed the report surrounding the operation to apprehend you. It's atrocious. A monumental abuse of power. I don't condone what you were doing, but I understand it. It was just your job. June made it personal. John paid his debt to me in blood. I hope you don't make the same mistake. That's exactly what I wanted to speak with you about. I've already declassified the real details of yours and June's actions to the public. The fallout will be tremendous. No matter how our meeting concludes, I'll be removed from office. I'm sure it wasn't easy to come clean, knowing your career would be sunk. June had no right to deceive the public, and neither do I. The people must be able to believe their leaders. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. One good turn deserves another. What are you offering? Immunity. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormen. Is that true? I'm sorry, but it's confidential. That's answer enough. Be careful who you put your confidence in. Tormund's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this while we're in a position to do so. Keep your word, and we'll pull Torment's plug. I understand the risk you're taking. Thank you. The Supreme Chancellor's been dealt with. Good. Make for the Tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. We'll engage the Imperial fleet, but I'll have to survive this to hold up my end of the bargain. If you can somehow cripple the Tyrant after dealing with Tormund, we can handle the rest. The Tyrant won't trouble you, Chancellor. You reek of vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I got an offer more in line with my work ethic. I expected better. Fist, you better be prepared to scrap. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. The galaxy would know none are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. Rest in peace, Tormund. Just this once. I was hoping to find you alive. Quite a narrow escape. 
Darth Tormund was not as fortunate, I trust. The only thing he escaped was a costly burial. Good. At least it's done. Perhaps it's best that I'm getting out of politics. Ranging assassinations couldn't be farther from what I've stood for. After falling this far, I suppose there's no point in trying to recover my principles. Coming clean would only do more harm than good. You don't cast off honor when it's inconvenient. I never said I was excusing my failures. Only living with them. It was for a greater good. We may be far from achieving peaceful coexistence. But the fewer men like Tormund that come to power, the better our chances. As far as anyone knows, Tormund died in a foolish naval battle. Let's leave it that way. You're a good man, Chancellor. The Republic will be worse off without you. I'm glad you weren't the monster June made you out to be. You'll be exonerated as I promised. Even if my replacement questions the justification, Overturning it would be more trouble than it's worth. I'm also sending a small reimbursement for your lost wages. It isn't much. There are more important things than pride and wealth. I hope you'll continue to use such good judgment in the future. I'm a Mandalorian, Chancellor. We may not follow your rules, but we've got our priorities straight. You may not know how to handle a blaster, but you're prepared to die for what you believe in. That's good enough for me. Live in honor, Chancellor, wherever you end up.